My name is Leslie Shooter. I'm a physiologist. I mainly work with elite athletes. So I learned about working with pro gamers is that like working with elite athletes, they're very individualized in their routines and in their preparation. Some of the elements that keep coming back with pro gamers performance is the importance of hydration and sleep and the timing of their fueling strategies for their extended performance. Some things that are unique about working with e-athletes are that their schedule is a little bit different um, depending on whether or not they're in a losing bracket or a winning bracket. It seems like the lifestyle is such that they're going to stay up late um, after the tournaments, but if they're in a losing bracket, then they have to play early in the morning. And if they're in a winning bracket, they can sleep in until 11. That's interesting. Um, and another thing that's interesting about working with e-athletes is that I learned today was the level of preparation for a game. Some e-athletes need two hours to warm up to feel like they're at their peak performance, where others don't feel like they need that long. They feel like they can just kind of arrive and feel pretty close after five minutes of warming up to, to their peak performance. So the obvious difference between soldiers and e-athletes is the physical requirement that soldiers, the physical preparation that soldiers need to be in for what they're asking their body to do. If they're in combat or out training, then they definitely need to be physically fit. Although it seems beneficial to be physically fit or physically active if you're an e-athlete, it doesn't seem as necessary um, to a higher performing level. I'm, I'm not exactly aware of the soldiers' schedules, but it seems like one thing that they could take away is the importance of sleep, where as an e-athlete, they can prioritize sleep because they can kind of dictate their own schedule a little bit more to optimize sleep, which is important for cognitive function. A soldier, on the other hand, maybe have, has more time constraints or demands on their schedule, so if they also have the demands of their soldier uh, duties, then they're also gaming, they may have a little bit more uh, constraints. Some of the similarities with pro gamers and pro athletes would be just the emphasis on the function of the body. Obviously, pro gamers don't need to be quite as fine-tuned with their, their physical selves, however, both sides need to have optimal cognitive function or brain function. So the brain being like the central governor or the major command center, we need to preserve that and make sure that it's functioning as optimally as possible. So that's like one strong um, similarity between pro athletes and pro gamers. Proper nutrition is important for an e-athlete because their brain is consuming a large amount of calories or carbohydrate to send the signals to their hands for their reaction time, for their visual um, recognition of what's going on. So nutrition is actually very important for any athlete so that they have a consistent form of glucose release and energy to the brain which is uh, driving their performance. Their performances, e-athletes performances last, can last anywhere from three to seven hours. So to be able to have that long of an attention span and be able to perform at a high level with good reaction time, um, nutrition is gonna play an obvious part in that. <laughs>